Hello and welcome to live coverage of the Cooperative League press conference taking place at the Cooperative League headquarters here at uh, Paul's Avenue. Today we're going to bring to you coverage of the press conference, one of the activities, in fact, the first of the set of activities taking place as part of Cooperative League Month. We invite you to stay with us as we bring you coverage of these and other events as part of Cooperative Month here on NBC Radio's ITV. Good morning, constituents, listeners, fellow cooperators, members of the media, SVGTV, NBC Radio, and uh, just to announce that this press conference is also being streamed live. So you just have to log into nbcsvg.com so you can get a live feed of this press conference. Welcome to one and all as we launch this, have this press conference to launch our <coughs> cooperative month of activities 2015. Um, before we proceed, we want to ask God's blessing on uh, this function, on the movement in our country, in recognition that today is also our National Day of Prayer. And I would like to invite Junior Simmons, President of the Police Cooperative Credit Union, to lead us through this segment. Thank you very much, Mr. President, Chairman. Good morning, one and all. Let us all stand and as we recite the prayer to prayer. We begin after three, two, three. Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. Where there is hatred, where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light, and where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to be loved. For it is giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and in dying that we are born with honor. Bless, O Lord, our deliberations, and grant that whatever we may say and do, we have thy blessing and guidance. Amen. We've been standing, as we say, a prayer for our nation today. Eternal, most gracious Father, as we pause to acknowledge you this morning, we give you all the honor and all the glory and all the praise. Father, as today is designated National Day of Prayer, we bring our nation before you, Lord Jesus. We pray, oh God, that we bless our nation from the north to the south, to the east, and to the west. But I pray, oh God, that our nation, oh God, will be glorified today, Lord Jesus. You said in the words that righteousness exalts the nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. So, Father, let your people today be righteous. Let it give you honor. And glory and you in turn will give us your blessings so father bless us now in jesus name for thank you amen Please remain standing as we sing the national anthem of saint vincent and the grenadines Thank you. 
Fellow cooperators, members of the listening audience, October is the month when we, Credit Union and cooperators, join with our international family comprising of over 218 million members in 105 countries in celebrating the uniqueness and virtues of our cooperative movement. On behalf of the Board of Directors of the St. Vincent and the Grenadines Cooperative League, wish to extend to you thousands of our Vincentian Credit Union and Cooperative family best wishes for a truly rewarding celebration of Cooperative Month under the theme, People Helping People. This theme is a reminder of what binds us to our core beliefs of pooling and sharing of resources and uniting for our collective good. Presently, the socio-economic impact of the cooperative movement in St. Vincent and the Grenadines is evidenced by the contributions of a consolidated sector of four credit unions, 15 general cooperatives, and 87 school-based junior cooperatives. In particular, our credit union are a substantial base of the national economy, adhering to democratic principles, sound financial management, and effective internal con and external regulatory systems. The movement now has a combined membership of some 74,000 persons, capital of 38 million, savings of EC 316 million, and assets in excess of 320 million. For the financial period ending December of 2014, the credit union movement in St. Vincent and the Grenadines had $220 million outstanding in loans. That is, this movement would have loaned to the members of the credit union movement in St. Vincent and the Grenadines $220 million. It is also instructive to note that using the economically active population, and that is the population between age 15 to 64 in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and using that measure as a, a measure of the degree of penetration, St. Vincent and the Grenadines is at the top of the global ranking of countries with a penetration rate in credit union membership of 94%. Our credit unions have been working along in terms of allowing and uh, helping our members in facing the current economic and financial realities. We have been proactive in effecting change to solve a wider cross-section of people by amalgamating and providing a broader array of business opportunities, including specialized facilities and services for small businesses rural communities, women, and youth. I want to emphasize here that the credit union movement, since 2008, we have recognized that given the significant and severe economic and financial turmoil, we have taken the strategic directive to amalgamate smaller and weaker credit unions with the stronger ones so as to ensure 
that we avoid any level of risk or negative exposure of our credit unions to the economic downturn. As at 2015, currently, we now have four credit unions down from 12 where we were some five years ago. And these four much larger credit unions are now in a much better position to give higher valued service to members and also to ensure the maximization of the shareholdings of members. Our future youth are the center of our attention. With extensive outreach to schools, credit unions are increasing the financial and business literacy, literacy of our youth, ensuring that they expand their involvement in cooperatives. Currently, 32% of the total membership, membership of the cooperative movement in St. Vincent's and the Grenadines comprise of youth 25 years old and under. As we celebrate the distance that we have covered in the national sphere, we take this time also to recognize our strides for unity and cooperation at the regional level. Since the credit union movement has long understood the oneness of the Caribbean region. And St. Vincent and the Grenadines, as a founding and active member of the Caribbean Conf Confederation of Credit Unions, which emerged out of the West Indies Conference of Credit Societies in the 1960s, we have consistently maintained representation at the leadership level of the CCCU since its inception. Given St. Vincent and the Grenadines' pivotal and critical role in this movement, this league, that is the St. Vincent and the Grenadines League, have been selected, has been selected to host the 14th annual OECS Credit Union Summit from in August 2016. We were the proud host of this esteemed event when it was inaugurated back in 2003. Therefore, we hope that come next August, God's willing, we should be seeing up to 300 or so cooperators from the movement, both in the sub-region and, and the wider CARICOM region, being here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines as we work together and continue to plan and strategize through the OECS Summit. Cooperatives live out their philosophy of people helping people every day and more so in times of disasters. I would like to take this opportunity on behalf of the member credit unions and cooperatives of the League to express our support for the people of Dominica as they work to rebuild their communities and livelihoods in the wake of the tragedy caused by the passage of Tropical Storm Erica. And uh, later in this event, the credit union movement, cooperative movement in St. Vincent and the Grenadines will be making a presentation of some $30,000 to the Dominica Cooperative Society's League. This money to assist in the relief efforts of the Dominica Cooperative Movement in the aftermath of the tragedy. The SPG Cooperative Movement stands in solidarity with the cooperative movement and people of Dominica and will continue to provide support and practical assistance wherever possible. The month of activities, which began last week, early October, we have organized this month to so celebrate the cooperative difference, our proud cooperative heritage, and the wonderful opportunities credit unions and cooperatives offer its members. Some of the highlights of the cooperative program for this month would include a cooperative march and economical service on Tuesday the 6th of October. That is the cooperative movement would march through the streets of Kingston starting at 9.30 and would end at the Methodist Church where there would be a church service commencing at approximately 10.15 a.m. There will also be a National School Cooperatives Awards on Tuesday, October 9th 13th at the Peace Memorial Hall. And this activity is hosted by the Cooperative Department and co sponsored by GECU Kingston Cooperative Credit Union 
SBG Teachers Cooperative Credit Union and the Police Cooperative Credit Union. The National School Cooperative Awards will recognize the efforts of our primary and secondary school students who are building their skills in cooperative enterprise, financial management, democratic decision making, and social responsibility. Additionally, individual credit unions will be host holding activities throughout the month. GECU will host its annual Members Appreciation Day on Thursday the 15th of October, which is International Credit Union Day at their headquarters in Kingston and at the different branch offices. The SBG Cooperative League will collaborate with Tuna Caribbean Insurance in hosting a credit union products and services workshop on Wednesday, 21st, 21st October at the Cooperative League Center. The Kingston Cooperative Credit Union will host a Seniors Care Day on Saturday, October the 25th. The SVG Teachers Cooperative Credit Union will hold a Cooperative Education Tour on Monday, 26th of October. The Vincent Automotive Cooperative Society Membership Recruitment Drive will continue throughout this month and there will be community outreach by the farmers, fishermen, and other cooperatives. And the Cooperative Month program of activities will climax with the Police Cooperative Credit Unions karaoke and domino competition on Friday 30th at the Police Canteen in, in, in Kingston. Details of the Cooperative Month program can be had from the websites and social media sites of the League credit unions and general cooperatives. And I would like to take this opportunity to invite everyone to join with the cooperative movement all over this country as we host our cooperative month of activities. Brothers and sisters, I am quite proud and pleased to be part of this movement that has been making such a tremendous and positive impact on the lives and the well-being of the people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. I would like to take this opportunity, therefore, to invite persons who are not yet members of a credit union and a cooperative. You are missing out quite a lot. It does not take much to join, nor do you have to expend any significant resources to maintain your membership, but the benefits are all yours. And so, if someone in your household, you may be, but if others in your household listening audience are not members of a credit union, I encourage you to get the necessary forms from any of the credit unions and join a credit union today. Brothers and sisters, I wish you all a happy cooperative month, happy credit union week, and a happy international credit union week. Thank you. I now invite presidents of the different credit unions to bring brief remarks. Before that, we'll have a, a song, A Cooperative Legacy, it is said by A. General. A cooperative represents, a cooperative represents Cooperative benefits you and me academically, financially. A cooperative gives back to society, employment opportunity, reduce poverty. A cooperative elevates the economy, a better country for you and me. For you and me. Yeah. Man has been faced with social injustice, economic chaos, way back before the days of Egyptian pharaohs. Search for ways to alleviate the stress via group consensus, pooling resources. Often, they practice numerous methods, share crop and swap labor, battering system. That was an era of trial and error, till the wings of change brought the industrial era. Since then, technology has been forcefully advanced, and therefore, new methods were urgently needed. Yeah, check it. A cooperative represents, a cooperative represents, a cooperative benefits you and me academically, financially, 
A cooperative gives back to society, employment opportunity, reduce poverty. A cooperative elevates the economy. Yeah. And as the rain fell, many felt the pressure. They ran seeking shelter under a susu umbrella, which later evolved into a corporate entity. A vast history mentioned only in summary from Rockdale Society to Friedrich in Germany, from UK to USA. Robert Owen, known as the father of cooperation, his philosophy was very inspirational to many of his followers in every nation, right down to Thomas Saunders in the Caribbean who introduced the movement in 1957 to the home of the blessed St. Vincent, my homeland. A cooperative represents, a cooperative represents, yeah, a cooperative benefits you and me academically, financially. A cooperative gives back to society employment opportunity, reduce poverty. A cooperative elevates the economy, a better country for you and me, yeah, for you and me. Credit union awareness. To be a member, you've got to buy shares, become a shareholder, take hold, invest in your future. Knowledge is power, so don't be a loser. Foundation of trust, democratic structure with a range of products packaged to suit you. Medical savings, debt benefit plans, all types of loans. It's better than a bank. Sit with your dollar, teach it to make sense, because you don't want to live your life with many regrets. So walk with a valiant stride till you never see you and put joy in your life. Yeah, a cooperative represents, a cooperative represents, yeah, a cooperative benefits you and me academically, financially. A cooperative gives back to society employment opportunity, reduce poverty. A cooperative elevates the economy, a better country. For you and me. A cooperative represents, a cooperative represents, yeah, a cooperative benefits you and me academically, financially. A cooperative gives back to society, employment opportunity, reduce poverty. A cooperative elevates the economy, a better country for you and me. For you and me. Thank you. That was excellent. Well done, brother Asian relative. Once more. Thank you. MC Hammer competition anytime. I think a very, very listen to the lyrics. Cooperative represents equality, elevates the economy, it represents unity. Cooperative gives back to society. Cooperative benefits you and me academically, financially, helps to reduce poverty. Big one. And listening public, that's, that's, what, that's what corporate is about. Um, listening audience, a movement of people sharing and pooling their resources and in turn helping each other. That's what cooperative is about. Each member pooling whatever little they have comes a great lot and uh, at the end of the day we are then able to give loans, make some interest, pay dividends on the on, 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 on shares and so forth and generally build uh, and develop the lives of our members. Cooperative philosophy, people helping people. Can't go wrong with that. I'll now invite members of the, the president of the different credit unions and uh, cooperatives to bring brief remarks. President, brief remarks at this point from the President. Good morning, everyone. And the persons in the immediate geographic location, or persons listening via radio or other electronic media. My name is Colin John. I am the president of the board of directors of Kingston Property Credit Union Limited. I am also a director of the league board. I am here this morning to fully endorse the program of activities for Credit Union Month as was prepared by the league 
department. Kingston Cooperative Credit Union Limited, the oldest credit union in St. Vincent and the Grenadine. We are always in support of the cooperative sector. As I often say, we cater from the cradle to the grave. One of our new programs that we're sponsoring is the NBC Sing Along program, which is heard on NBC Radio at 6.45 a.m. on weekdays. That program is catering mainly for the very young and their parents. We also sponsor the Grum School Road Relay, the National Dance Festival, also the Senior Care Day. So we cater from for the very young, also the very old. I'm here to wish all members of Cooperative Movement a very successful and enjoyable credit union month. And we at KCCU wish you all the best as we change the life of the members in a positive way, one member at a time. Thank you. Pleasant good morning once more to everyone gathered here. And a special morning to the members of the media and those who are listening to NBC Radio. My name is Julia Simmons. I'm the president of the Police Cooperative Credit Union Board of Directors. As we officially launch the activities to commemorate International Credit Union Month, under the universally accepted credit union philosophy of people helping people, I wish to extend warmest greetings to my fellow cooperators and volunteers locally, regionally, and internationally, who are part and parcel of this great and noble movement where people come first. The SBG Police Credit Union to participate in the calendar activities to celebrate International Credit Union Day, which is celebrated annually on October 15th every year. When we pause to recognize and pay tribute to our members and volunteers. For its own part, the Police Corporate Credit Union has a number of activities planned for this special occasion. They are as follows. One, on October 15, 2015, the PCU will appreciate our valued members by offering free blood sugar and blood, sugar, blood, blood pressure checks at the police headquarters in Kingston. We'll partner for the second time with the Trinity School of Medicine for this very important event, which will commence at 9.30 a.m. On January 29, 2015, as part of our activities to celebrate our 12th anniversary, the PCC partnered with the Department of Forestry, the Richmondville Academy, and the Rivers Beach and Park Authority, where we planted 100 trees to stabilize the Richmond Beach from further erosion. So on Tuesday, October 20th, 2015, Police Credit Union will journey up to Richmond to pay a visit to this site to see how the trees are progressing. Three, the high point of our activities for this International Credit Union Month will be the now entrenched Caribbean Games Evening Line for all cooperators and well wishers on Friday, October 30th, 2015, at the Police Canteen. The last floor of the Kingston Delta Market. This event will commence at 6 p.m. and we have dominant competitions, competition pool, competition, and also some pizza. And coming soon for the launch of our website. Finally, once again, the Senate Grand Sports Credit Union salutes all cooperators as we celebrate on the theme. People helping people. Thank you very much. Good 
morning, fellow cooperators, those listening via NBC Radio. Teachers Cooperative Credit Union, of which I'm the president, and my name is Cecil Charles. We are always proud to be associated with anything to do with cooperatives, and we stand fully supportive of the Credit Union League and its activities. Today we celebrate under the theme, People Helping People. And Teachers Credit Union has embraced this term, this term that every member has special value. So you recognize the fact that we have always been supportive of people helping people. Earlier you have heard about the growth of the movement, and indeed we are indeed privileged and happy to be part of that growing movement cooperatives, not only locally, but regionally and internationally. We feel proud to be part of the development of our people and the development of the nation as a whole. And we will continue as Teachers Cooperative Credit Union to give that support to the Credit Union League and to our sister cooperatives that we can change the lives of people at home and abroad. So once again, our full commitment to the League, and may God continue to bless us all in all of our endeavors. Thank you very much. Good German, fellow cooperators, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brian Alexander. I'm the chairman of the St. Vincent Automotive Cooperative Society. The society that operates the gas station next to the hospital for business, sale of gasoline and petroleum products under the brand name Lubitz. Sachs is indeed proud to be a member of the Cooperative League. Have been a member since 2013? Means we are the last to be on, 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 on this board. To this end, it, it is with pleasure that I take this opportunity as chairman to bring greetings to the people of SDG as we celebrate another milestone in the life of the cooperative sector in this country. From my vantage point over the years, I could testify to many of the benefits that this sector has brought to the people of this country through the credit unions and other non-financial cooperatives, including the farmers and the food cooperatives over the years. As we celebrate yet another milestone, I again like to remind us that this noble movement, as our team indicates, has its success in people helping people. So I want to encourage us all to continue to live up to the cooperative ideal so that this blessed country of SDG can be more prosperous. I wish the week, the month, the credit union give all the success. I stand in capacity as president of the General Employees Cooperative Credit Union, GECU. My name is Kelvin Pompey. And GECU recognizes as we celebrate another cooperative month the significant role, leadership role that it plays in ensuring the success of the credit union movement in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Um, during this month, we would be, as you heard, having an open day on the 15th of October. And significantly, on the 14th of October, GECO would be having an award ceremony to grant bursaries of $3,000 each to three rece successful recipients. And this is in keeping with GECO's Learn While You Earn philosophy. 
because these virtues will be granted to students who are at home and studying in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. There are other activities that GECO would be engaged in over this period, and the credit union will continue GECO to educate its members and critically to reach out to the youth of within its membership during this month. We are proud to be associated as, uh, with the League and with the other credit unions, and GECO pledges its full support and commitment to the tolerance of the credit union movement and the credit union philosophy of people helping people in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Thank you. We would now have a symbolic handing over of a check of $30,000. Uh, I'm blessed, we are good, and we are quite happy to have you basically on, on phone. We have extended our best wishes to you and your people in terms of your recovery. Pray that God is, 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 is giving you all the assistance and the strength that is needed as you continue to recover from the disaster. Of course, we are, we are quite happy to hear that. And St. Vincent and Grenadines in, in different regards, the respects have been coming to the aid of our sisters and brothers in Dominica. And today on behalf of the Credit Union League and uh, representing the credit unions and, and the cooperative societies, we are pleased to be presenting a check of $30,000. That's $30,000 to you as President General Manager of the League Dominica. And we hope that this amount would go some way in assisting the recovery of citizens of your country and members of the credit union movement. Okay, well, you're welcome, and uh, people St. Vincent and Grenadines and uh, the Credit Union League, I'm confident, will continue to pool their resources to give further assistance as you continue to recover. God bless you. Thank you. All right. We should be having a, a song, Standing Tall, by Kenneth Vibrating. Nothing can separate me from my credit union. No one could ever stop this loving cooperation. In this world of uncertainty and money speculation, 
My credit union is all I have for financial freedom. Stock markets may rise, bank interest may fall, but credit unions are wise. It's all for one and one for all. When intransigence and incompetence and greed bringing money markets down, my credit union stands like a beacon with cooperative benefits growing strong. In saving and loan, it's strong. Mortgage on my home, it's strong. In my retirement, it's strong. And in retrenchment, it's strong. Cooperative enterprises build a better world. The slogan is all for one and one for all. Cooperative enterprises build a better world. 2015 is here. So answer the call. Join a cooperative and you'll be standing tall. Let me hear you. <laughs> Sustainable development is a watchword. Communities have been transformed around the world. Whether farming in agriculture or animal husbandry, Cooperative touch the lives of people in every country. Some insurance may fail and your security get lost. But credit unions would still pick up your living costs. When the economy is in jeopardy, the cooperative is a backup plan. The best investments where dollars make sense is in a healthy cooperative in this plan. Group medical plans, loans by education, to buy vehicles and land, debt consolidation, cooperative enterprises build a better world. The slogan is all for one and one for. I hear you. Cooperative enterprises build a better world. 2015 is here. You answer the call. Join a cooperative and you stand. Bam, bam, bade. Bam, bade. Equity with equality and democracy. Self-help and solidarity is what my co-op means to me. The strategy of raising people out of poverty. By promoting cooperatives as a global family. Occupy Wall Street is a sign that affects city and town. And I'm saying now is the time to encourage more credit unions. Because when the Ponzi scheme and the big pipe dreams take people money and they're gone, the initiative to be in a cooperative where dividends are stronger and won't go wrong. In low cost loans, it's strong. And business loans, it's strong. Debt benefits, bursary and scholarships, cooperative enterprises build a better world. The slogan is all for one and one for all. Cooperative enterprises build a better world. Oh, oh, 2015 is here. So answer the call. Join a cooperative and you'll be standing tall. Thank you very much. Uh, cooperative enterprises build a better world. Let's say it once more for us. Vibrative stick. Very strong, powerful message there on behalf of the credit union movement. At this point, we want to invite if there are any questions or comments. The amount that was contributed to Dominica uh, essentially contributed by all the different credit unions and, and cooperatives.
Muslim or early societies that comprise the league essentially um, came together, gave donation out of their funds so that we could have gotten this amount to, to give to them. Thank you. 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 Thank